Did you just poop that out? Yeah, pretty much. Do you think every other Let's Player made that joke? Probably. I feel like that was too easy. It was. Shit. All right, welcome guys, back. Uh, as I was saying last episode, oops. as I was saying last episode, just to finish up uh, my point, I don't like sky and desert levels, and the same goes for um, the Legend of Zelda games. I don't like uh, sky themed temples or or sand themed temples. Um, which, I mean, I love Minish Cap; it's my favorite one. But uh, no, you got to do something else for this. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> Um, oh god. But yeah, like a, a major part of toward, towards the end of Manish Cap happens in the sky. And it just drives me insane. Even though it's still my favorite. It's still my favorite Zelda game. Yeah, I love the sky level in um, Twilight Princess. Do you? Yes. Or are you just shitting on me? No, it's like one of my favorite levels. When. Uh, uh, Uriah and I, and a third friend of ours, uh, were in a Twilight Princess speed run um, competition. Competition at our at our college. No glitch, no, any percent. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you just had to beat it. Um, I, I don't think I don't think you get sequence break either. But there's not no, a lot of sequence breaking in Twilight Princess no, anyway. No sequence breaking, no glitching. Um, so yeah, I was just to see who could who could beat it the fastest. I repeatedly said before we started that I hate the Sky Temple, and I really hope that I don't want to do it, or that I really hope that I am not the one to do it because it was it was set like uh, each team would have as many people every half hour. You would switch off to somebody else. Yep. Um. So it just so happened that. Uh, when we got- I hate this part. Uh, when we got to, um, the Sky Temple, I had to do- go through the whole thing, and I couldn't even do the best part of it, which was the boss fight at the end. Yeah, because-, because was... Right before the boss fight- Time ran out. Uh, the time ran out. Um, and that was- that also was kind of funny, because I didn't get to fight any bosses at all throughout the entire game- until the last two final bosses. Yeah. Just just because of how the rotation worked. Yep. <laughs> like it was just poor luck on your part all the way around. Yeah. And I used up all our bombs. Yes. <laughs> we had a panic. Yeah. Because we had to have bombs for something, and we had no bombs. Because I uh, kept using them to blow up the ice golem guys in the ice temple. Which I still believe is the easiest way to get rid of them. Yeah. But I could have done it a little better. All right, freeze easy peaks. Yeah. <laughs> On topic. Uh, we got an ice level here, and it's a nice level. Okay. I, th I thought he went in, but he doesn't. Um, that's what I was looking for. We got. I hate these guys so much. We got Christmas presents. It was kind of a Christmassy theme to this level. In fact, one of the things is getting the Christmas presents. All right. We got three of them, I think. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love that rare speed. Can meet us in this. Yeah. Yeah. So fun, interesting thing. You slide around like crazy uh -huh. uh, as Banjo. You do not on Kazooie feet. Even more of a reason to just use was it talent trot? Yep. I like this scarf. Like I like that they put a note on all the yellow ones and a feather on all the red ones. Yeah. I also like that it's just a scarf. <laughs> now we know that Mario sixty four did the. Did the same thing in, in their uh, ice level snowman's land. Now I think that had you uh, climb up a giant snowman. This one, of course, is much bigger. Yes. Um, also much easier. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't blow wind at you. Uh, 
I could be misremembering because I've not really looked into it. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, Mario 64 came out pretty early in the Nintendo 64 um, lifespan. Yeah. Did it? Oh. Yep. One in there. Huh. Uh, whereas this one, this one wasn't towards the end, but it was it was more towards a, a, a period where uh, the developers like knew what they were doing with it. Um, like they had more more practice and understanding of the the hardware limitations and all that stuff. That would like kill someone. Oh yeah. But no, instead he just spits up a jiggy that he was suffocate or no, he wasn't suffocating. He, he was, has a uh, tummy ache. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you eat a solid gold puzzle piece? <laughs> Dumbass. It was like keeping him from his kids and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what a bad father. And bad person in general. Okay, I'm gonna start taking care of these snowmen so I don't have to deal with them anymore. Because they're pretty much my only threat in this level. Is the water, like, super cold? Yes. So, uh... I hate dealing with these snowmen, though. Yeah, I know. So much. Because, like, the only way to kill them is to hit their X. On their hat? Yep. And they do that. Yep. I got a mumbo token. Yep. They're usually hiding something. Fuck. So I've, I've talked to you, Uriah, yes. about, um, I, I, I enjoy watching, or when I watch uh, Doctor Who, um, I like to imagine what the episode would look like uh, if it were made back in, like, the 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah. Um, I also like to sometimes imagine what video games would look like, or like how they would, how entertaining they would be if they were um, just like Final Fantasy style turn-based RPGs. Um, Do you like I need to fly through this? Yes. That just starts another thing. Oh, nope. you, gotta, you gotta turn the tree on first. That's what I thought. Ah, there's something I gotta do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I like I like reimagining games as, as as other genres in general, but mostly into RPGs. Oh shit! Well, I'm running out of feathers soon. Did you just poop that out? Yeah, pretty much. Do you think every other Let's Player made that joke? <laughs> Probably. I feel like that was too easy. It was. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm better than <laughs> this. I'm trying to get rid of some of these guys at least. Yeah. Yeah, no, these snowmen are fucking awful. Oh, was that the extra help? Yep. That was. It's like all of this is so much easier if I don't have to deal with these guys. Oh, oh hey, killing all the snowmen Unlocked gets me a thing on top of the snowman. Oh, like the jiggy. Cool, cool. So I guess I've got them all killed. Yes. Which I didn't know that I had done. Like, I thought it was close. I didn't know it was done. So oh, that's there's, cool. There's a move in here, too. I already got the move. Okay. It was the, uh, the, the, the beat buster or whatever it was. The thing that let me hit... The thing that lets me hit things. Beat bomb. Ow. Is that the thing where he goes directly? I don't know. It was the thing that I was using just a minute ago when I was flying. Oh, okay. You might have looked like this. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, it was a flying thing. Flying pad. Oh. I, I heard him. Yeah. I just assumed he was at the top of the chimney until I. Alright. Mumbo's house looks like uh, a diseased callus compared to this bright and snowy area. A little bit. Alright, time to do a race. Numbutt. That's what we call them. Something smaller. Oh. I thought I, th I thought I raced him twice, once as Banjo and then once as the. You, it, I actually transform. just read it. You gotta uh, beat him transformed first, and then. Oh. Uh, and then uh, Banjo too. Well, I need a flight thing to get over to Mumbo's place without hurt without hurting myself. That gets me a few different things, I think. Um, Being wars. Yeah. Spoilers, it's a walrus. My bad. I said it. I can't take it back. I'm an asshole. Because 
there's um, Boggy's thing. Oh, hey, there are boots. Boots probably let me get through it. Yeah. Um, Those are worse too. Yeah. There's uh, Boggy's sled race. There's. Come on. Um. Oh no! Wow, uh, I didn't know how that happened. There's Boggy Sled Race, and then there was the one that the Walrus has. I don't know if there are any others. There are, but the wiki just crashed my so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this fat ass Walrus. <laughs> I can also get a lot of notes as the Walrus. He also looks diseased. Because once again, I'm immune to uh, the water. environment. Yeah. Okay, so there's, yes, there's one for the race as the walrus. Um, there's one for talking to that other walrus. Uh, you already beat the Sir Slushies. Just gotta go get that one. Yeah. Um, Which is on top of the snowman. You know, I don't think I actually grabbed the one that the snowman pooped out. You didn't. Uh, Just kind of it. There. You... Do you have all the presents? No, I have two. I also need the Christmas lights, still. Yeah. And you got the one inside the pipe. The smoking pipe. Yep. Okay, so what is this entail? A race. Yeah. This one was... It's literally, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Race buggy through the slalom gates without missing any. Yep. So how, how does this control? Oh, goodness. Oh! You didn't well. need to do the... the thing. But yeah, no, how, how, how does this control? Uh, with the joystick. But like, is he always moving forward? Or uh, I don't know. Just... I'm holding forward anyway. Oh, okay. I don't know if he always moves forward or not, but I am holding forward just in case. Why races? There's races in Zelda, races in Mario. No! Call me a racist, but uh, I'm not a fan of most races. <laughs> I just got past him and he went, oh. That sounds awful. To clarify, I don't like racing in video games. <laughs> is, is, is the joke there. Oh, Woo! nice. Man, that was close. Here's your medal. Hey guys, I need to I guess I need to race someone my own size. Uh, return to the initial starting area. Trip. Another walrus, take this. Watch out for smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Wow. What a douche. Man, everyone hates Banjo and Kazooie. I'm pretty sure the the numbers in this game didn't have that eggshell uh, pattern texture. on the 64. Yeah. I think I can come back in here as Banjo and Kazooie now. I think I need to in order to get what I'm after, but maybe nope. I have to be the Walrus. Hoo hoo choo. Another joke. Another easy joke that I'm sure has already been made. <laughs> We're not original at all, Brian. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, is that both of them? Yeah, I've gotten both now. Shit. Uh, I don't think I can beat that guy. As... No, no, the Walrus. I think he's just like a hazard. Yeah. I don't think the Walrus has any attacks, does he? No. Which... You know, I can't remember where the S cave is then. Where the S key is, I thought it was here. Oh, uh, let me check. I know it's in, it's in his... Oh, it's in... Wazzy's in place. Inside Waz's cave. Which, this is Waz's cave. Oh, I see a Jinjo. Yeah, so I have to come back here as Banjo Kazooie. I was thinking I could now that I've, now that I've, uh, coaxed him back into his cave as the walrus. But I couldn't remember 100%. This Mumbo token. Oh, 
Are you going to race Boggy again real quick? Um, not in this episode. Right. Um, but right now I'm looking real quick for any notes. Oh, hey, there's the witch switch. It was yeah. underneath one of the... Mr. Slushies. Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing any more notes in the water as the walrus, unless they're on this side of the snowman. So, uh, next time on Turn Biased, I turn back into Bad and Booted. Alright, yeah. see you guys later.